This question was sent to me by a subscriber. Her name is Fedals from Siani Technical University. We have to produce this figure and we should note that all the given dimensions are in millimeters. Let's get into it. The first thing we have to do will be to produce this horizontal 178 millimeter line. And let's quickly um, do that. Okay, so after having done that, we have to, the next thing I want to do will be, will be to construct this semicircle, okay? Now, R12 means that the radius of this semicircle here is 12. We can stand at anywhere on the horizontal line and then we construct a circle, a semicircle with radius of 12 uh, centimeters. So I pick 12 from here. Now let's produce these three lines. So this is a vertical line that is 24 millimeters and these two are horizontal lines, 29 millimeters each. I'm going to use a totally different approach to do this. I'm going to use this, um, okay, so do this. And then I'll pick the 90 mark that is over here and then mark small parts here so i'll stand over here with a length of 29 millimeters Stand here 29 millimeters and mark. I stand here another 29 millimeters and mark. Okay, now I'll repeat the same for this side. The vertical line is 24 millimeters, that means that um, it's 12 millimeters above and below the first horizontal line we drew. So what we do is that we divide 24 into 2 and then we pick 12 millimeters. So we take 12 millimeters Yes, that is it. 12 millimeters and then we stand on this first horizontal line we drew and then we mark and we do same below. And I link these lines. To this. They can see me, but they can reach me. What's in life And do the same for this side. Okay. Now, the next thing that I would like to do will be to construct this 25 millimeters um, horizontal line. And we can see that this 25 millimeters horizontal line is at a certain distance away from the center of this semicircle. So how do we know the distance it is away from this semicircle? We first have to subtract these two distances, 50 and 29, from 178. And then we'll get the rest of the distance from this side to the end here. And when you subtract, you get uh, 99. Am I right? Uh, 178 minus 79. It's 99. So you pick 99 millimeters from your rule. Okay. Then from the center of this semicircle, construct this small arc here. You can do the same from the top here. And then also from, from the down here. We stand at this point. 
if this whole line is 25 millimeters what it means is that from this point to this edge here divide you have to divide 25 into 2 and 25 divided by 2 is 12.5 Okay, now the next thing that I want to do is to construct these two lines. But this one is a very tricky one. So let's pay attention and see how we do that. Now, let's note that from this point over here to the point here is 12 millimeters. Okay, and from this point below is 12. How do we know that? We can see that from here 24 millimeters. So we divide that by 2, we get 12 above and 12 below. Let's obtain a point on this horizontal line 50, mill 50 millimeters away from this edge here, okay? So after we've done that, we'll construct with a radius of 12 millimeters. At that point that we obtain, with a radius of 12 millimeters, we construct acts above and below the point. So I will first of all have to pick uh, 50 millimeters from my row. Okay, so stand here 50 millimeters now what i'll do is that i'll have to pick a radius of 12 millimeters a radius of 12 millimeters then from this point over here i construct axe above and below Now, I also have to construct 12 millimeters over here on this vertical line. Okay, so with the same 50 millimeters that I picked initially, so with the same 50 millimeters, let me see if it's still the same thing, okay. Then I stand below here and do so. Okay, so I'll join the top here to this side. And the line should be very visible. And then I do the same for this side. Okay, we can see also from the diagram that there is a certain circle over here and that circle has a radius of 50 millimeters. So with the same 50 milli millimeters we already have, we'll have to try to be able to construct that circle. And what do we do now? We stand at this point we now have. You construct 50 millimeters above that's the arc and you do same below now you have to stand here to you have to stand here to do the one below now in order to get the point of intersection i'm not really going to stress myself that much i'll have to continue this line yeah, so it intersects over here. So what it means is that you stand over here and with a radius of 50 millimeters, construct an arc. Then we do same below over here. The next thing now is to draw um, this arc when you look at it carefully you see that there are actually two circles this is one of the circles and then this circle is another one so the two circles are touching each other just that we didn't draw this part of the circles in the diagram we only drew the parts or the points where they were touching um, each other and even it was just a small part of where they touched now in order to obtain a point where you'll be able to construct this arc you have to this is called external tangency because the two circles are touching each other outside 
so you have to add the radius of this circle 50 to the radius of this circle which is 82 so 82 plus 50 is 82 plus 50 it's 132 so we add the two radii we obtain 182 and then we would know the point where we should stand to um, draw the circle but before we do that i want to extend this um, vertical line here because it is one of the intersecting um, points so this vertical line over here i'll have to extend it where is it where is it, where is it? good so it should be just a faint line a very faint line done now unfortunately i need to pick 132 millimeters but unfortunately my compass cannot stretch to 132 so intuitively what i'm going to do will be this is the point where i'll have to stand to construct the 132 um, radius okay so this is what i'm going to do interestingly i'm going to maneuver a way out i'll stand here and measure 132 on my rule then i see where that 132 meets the vertical line i drew so it has exceeded so i need to come back a bit so 131 132 i need to come this way 131 132 this is perfect so it's meeting over here okay now i'll have to do same for this side so this, this is going to be a bit difficult so this i need to keep dragging it so it intersects with 132 so this 133 132 then i push this up all a bit 132 got it where is it okay so what i'll have to do now is that i'll just have to stand over here now with a radius of 82 millimeters which i've already picked from my rule i'll stand at one of these points and construct an arc here and to stop at this vertical line i just want it to be very deep okay then i stand at this point also and then do the same make sure it starts out you definitely have to clean these lines but we'll, we'll do that in the course of the video i think that now we can see that our shape is taking form gradually bit by bit what is now left is for us to be able to construct this side and that is uh, pretty simple what i'm about to do is to construct this small arc the radius is 12 millimeters as you can see and this i'm going to do it we can see that from this point over here to the end here or to the edge here is 50 millimeters say it still applies that this point to the end here is still uh, 50 millimeters and this point to the end is 50. so that's what i'm going to do i'll pick 50 millimeters from my row okay so i have 50 millimeters from my row i will stand over here I'll stand over here and construct this arc. We'll come to this horizontal line, construct another arc, and come here, construct another arc. Okay, so what I'll do basically now will be to draw a line through that. Okay, from the diagram, we can see that this vertical line is 100 millimeters long. So we divide that into two to obtain 50 uh, millimeters. 
then we stand at the point where that vertical line meets the initial horizontal line and then we construct an arc we stand here above we stand here below and we will leave that there okay now the next thing we have to do is that we can see from the diagram again that this point this point here this point here is 62 millimeters long right from this point to this point is 62 millimeters we divide that into two we get 31 so we pick 31 millimeters from the rule and then we do same below over here Now the next thing we we'll have to do will be to join the points. Uh, not really as in you know join the points though, but we just want to get a point where we can construct the radius. So you can draw a very faint line here, and then you do the same over here too, very faint one. Yes. Now we can see from the diagram that this circle has a radius of 12 millimeters so we pick 12 millimeters from our rule with 12 millimeters we stand at this point we construct an arc we stand at this point we stand at this point to construct another arc now at this point with a radius of 12 millimeters you construct this arc here I have to do that well. I think that is okay. Now, the last thing we'll have to do, as we can see from the diagram here, will be to join this point to this um, circle we drew or the arc we drew. And we also do the same for the top there. So let's do that and then we finish for today. Okay, we stand over here. Then we open to this circle. And then we do the same for this side. Let me bring this down a bit. Okay, so I finally did some finishing touches to it. I cleaned all the other lines that we didn't need and arcs that we didn't need. And this is the final work that we have beautifully um, drawn. And this is the original figure. So it's something like this. Uh, let me see. Can I go in it? Let me do it like this, rather. Something like this. Yeah. Okay. So what is on the left is what we're asked to produce and what is on the right is what we actually produce. I think we've done a good work, right? Yes, this is fine. So thank you very much for your time and all the best. And Fidos, you are the one who sent me this question. Keep sending more um, questions on technical drawing. Thank you and have a good day.